So what the procurement confirmation wizard is, is um, SAP will give you the ability to create a purchase order directly from a sales order. So what that means is there is situations sometimes, like let's say you're using a dropship warehouse or you're selling an item that you know is not in stock, you can immediately, after adding the sales order, you can create a purchase order and they will be linked together in the database. So you'll be able to see in the relationship map that they are tied together. So it's real easy to do. So we're just going to go into the sales AR, going to go into sales order. And let's see. Let's give our friends Lowe's. So you know, with sales orders, of course, you have to select a delivery date. In our case, I'm just going to do 30 days from now. Um, so we want to add a couple items. So I need some bubble pack. So I am going to purposely choose items that have zero in stock, as you see. And of course, um, you know, some windows in SAP do work like Excel. So I can hold down the control key and select multiple items at once. So I'm going to click choose and these five items are going to come into the sales order. And it looks like we have some bombs here. And the bomb of course is a bill of material. So I'm going to order five, Lowe's is going to order five of each of these things. So of course there's going to be an item availability check because um, there isn't any in stock. So I need five. Now we're going to leave that one because that's bill of material. So now that I'm ready to add, I'm going to go into the logistics tab here and I'm going to click the button procurement document. So with the after I've clicked, the message says, if you change the setting of procurement document checkbox, the new settings will apply to document rows. Do you want to continue? Yes. So with that checked, I'm going to click add. Your systems are probably much faster than mine. Of course it wants to print too. So now the procurement confirmation wizard opens. This is immediately after adding the sales order. So the first step here is uh, choose whether the base procurement documents on sales or as a sales quotation and select the customers for whom you want to create the procurement document. So since it's, we're creating directly from the sales order, it already knows that the, the, the customer on file is Lowe's here. And you have the option if there are other open base documents for the customer, you can check the box. So for the sake of ease, I'm going to leave it unchecked and I'm going to click next. So this is the base document, of course, the sales order we just created. Now step three here. It's a base document line item, so it's going to show every line item. If there's a preferred vendor for any of your items, the vendor will be mentioned as part of the um, as part of the target document series. So 
you know, we have one vendor that's for the bubble pack, and then the second vendor here is for everything else. So I have options here as well. If I wanted to, you know, choose my own vendor here, I could add it here, and they would cover everything. You also have the option to print upon completion, or if you needed to create a draft, you could, and also you can add a delivery date. So the delivery date I'm going to put for next month. So I'm going to click next, and again, you can unselect any of these items if you want to, just by clicking on them. And just remember that uh, if you keep clicking, they will all deselect. So I'm going to leave it um, all selected now. I'm going to click next. Oops, it wants a vendor code. So it wants a vendor code for all of these items because they don't have one on file. So I'm just going to quickly add going to oops can't copy. So now I have vendors selected, I'm going to click next. So again, just like in the document generation wizard, there is the, the option for consolidation. So you can consolidate by vendor, and target document series. Um, you know, in this case, we're going to leave no consolidation. If error occurs, we're going to skip to the next vendor. You actually have the option to stop the whole process as well. So I'm just going to do skip to next vendor. I'm going to click next. So this is the preview results. So you know, the vendor V10,000, Acme Associates, these are the items we're ordering from them. And then from V1010 Far East Imports is the remaining item. So I'm going to click OK. All right, next, sorry. So this one, unlike the um, Doc Generation Wizard, this one creates without incident. Um, so now we have purchase order 357 created and then purchase order 358. So if we look at the first one, here's the PO. Now we can actually receive against this. So let's say they were quick. We use a copy to function. I'm going to copy to a goods receipt PO. I'm going to click add. So now here's one of those little serial numbers. So this is in this is bonus tips and tricks for you. If uh, you have batch, if you have batch things, um, this wizard will come up here, and you can automatically create batches. Or if you have the numbering system that the vendor is giving you, um, you can do so here. So in this case, I'm just going to use batch 2500. And I'm going to use five of them. So click OK. Click Add again. So the procurement confirmation wizard will create the purchase order. And I received, let's just say it was the same day or the next day, we've already received the product so it can actually be delivered. So if we wanted to, we could go back into the dot generation now and create the delivery from the purchase order. All right. Let's close all these windows. If you ever want to do a mass windows closing, you can go under window here and select close all and it will close any open windows that you have.